this is the Weisshorn shower tent that we've just purchased. Just doing a quick setup in the backyard to have a look at it, see what it's like. The literature that comes with it actually says it needs two to three people to set up. Not true. I set this up on my own. It wasn't all that difficult. Now let's have a quick look. Large zip door. It's a big shower tent. It has a built-in floor partially mesh. I don't expect the mesh to last too long. You can see the stitching here has already come apart but that's actually not a bad thing because other than that unintentional hole there's nowhere to put a hose through into it. Now there is a pole. That is supposed to sit here. You can't do this with one hand. That is supposed to sit in these clips. The clips are too big for the pole and the pole consistently falls out so we'll have to do something to remedy that little problem. There is a window at the back that has a couple of velcro tabs. I anticipate that might be a problem when it's raining because the window is inside and there's nothing to stop water coming down the back there and I can quite imagine that with a strong wind hitting that and sitting down maybe on the porta potty you'll be able to get a bit of rain down your back a couple of other hooks on this side I don't know if the idea was to have two of those poles but there's only one provided the truth that comes with it says there's two pockets there's only one rather stupidly placed at the bottom of the tent but at least it's better than nothing the top is actually mesh, the mesh is here, it's micro mesh and it has a cover so you can take the cover off, that's a good thing, we like that feature and it has four guy lines around the edge, they attach to the cover how exactly you go if you want to have this tent up without the top on, I'm not sure, I suppose you could attach the guy lines inside to one of the poles here but not the brightest idea there are some tie downs on the top as well it's a largish tent so there's plenty of room inside it we haven't had it out in the field testing yet so I've got no real idea how it's going to go when it has to stand up to wind but in general it seems like a reasonable sort of design we got it off eBay for about 50 bucks and we'll see how long it lasts and how well it stands up we'll let you know in a future video at some stage and the shower tent folds up into a fairly small package quite lightweight it does fit in there quite easily without much struggle it's not one of those packages that you have to carefully fold everything away again the bag is big enough to accommodate it if you only just loosely fold it, which is a good thing. Okay, cheers. Catch you later. Thanks for watching.